Right, so guys, welcome to MBGT. My name is Alex, and I asked you guys in the last video, what would you like to see next on the channel? And you guys said, let us see your home network. So guys, let's get straight to it. So this is the heart of our home network, the D-Link AC1750. Now this is a dual band wireless router and it is at the far left of the house, below my room actually in the garage. So in my room I can take full advantage like with my MacBook and my iPhones and my iPads, all the wireless devices, take full advantage of those AC speeds. Now this is a smart router, so there's like apps on your phone that you can get where you can actually monitor the home network and block people off the network when you're not even at home, which is fairly incredible if you ask me. So it's like monitoring on your phone when you're not even at home, like to maintain your network. Now, Next to that we have a one terabyte said gate plugged into the you know the USB port. Next to that we have a Sonos wireless base station and this is called a power over ethernet adapter and this is actually how we get the internet to our house. Now your guys' internet is probably provided by you know fiber optic cables under the ground or maybe it's through a telephone line but ours is actually a little white box up on the end of this pole, hopefully you can see it there. And what this is doing is, it is it's aiming at a tower about four miles away uh, and it is picking up internet wirelessly and, you know, providing our house with internet because we live in the middle of nowhere, so to get good internet is really hard. And you're probably thinking, you know, your speeds are going to be absolutely rubbish. But no, they're not. We can actually choose what speeds we want. We can have faster speeds than this if we want to. Uh, but our speeds at the moment, we're currently paying for 20 meg down and 10 meg up. Uh, and we get about 9 ping, which is, you know, fairly incredible. It's better than ADSL and it's better than quite a lot of fiber optic, um, you know, connections that I've tested myself. So I'm really happy with our connection and we do get what we pay for, which is amazing. So from the router, we actually send off two ethernet cables. Now one of them goes up to my room, the black one, and the other one goes to the rest of the house. Now the whole house is wired in CAT6, so all the cables are CAT6, so we get gigabit speeds. But I'll show you what's in my room first. So at the other end of that black cable, you can see that I've got a switch. Now this is an 8-port TP-Link switch, and hopefully you can see the model number there if you want it. But this is a gigabit switch, and we have the same switch all over the house in numerous locations. But at the moment, this one is powering, or uh, well, giving Ethernet uh, gigabit speeds to my computer, my smart TV, my uh, Xbox One, my amplifier, my Xbox 360, and of course, my Apple TV. And that is pretty much all the hardwired devices in my room. So behind this wall where the TV is, there is the other end of that Ethernet cable that comes from the router. That is then connected to a TP-Link 5-port switch, which has connected to it the Smart TV, which you can see there, the Skybox, which you can also see there, uh, and a access point. Now, the reason I connect the Smart TVs up to the network is so that you can stream your movies that I have stored on that NAS drive that I showed you, the one terabyte Segate drive. You can stream them all and watch your favourite movies on the telly. So I'll give you guys a demonstration of that. You can guys can, you know, watch your favourite films. So carrying along around the exterior of the house, we have some more Cat6 cabling, which is going around to my dad's office. Now in there, you can see the cable coming in just there, we have another 5-port TP-Link switch. Again, it's a gigabit switch because we want gigabit speeds uh, all over the house. There you go, you can see it right there. Uh, connected to that, we have another wireless access point. Uh, these are Edimax wireless access points, by the way, guys, and they're, not, they're nothing special, uh, but they're, they're you know, they're good enough to be able to web browse on mobile devices like iPads and check your emails and stuff. Uh, but I wouldn't ever game on them or anything like that. But they, they, they get the job done. Uh, and we also have some more Sonos components connected to those. And if you're unaware of what Sonos is, it's like a multi-room music system. So you can have speakers all around your house uh, and you can control them with your iOS device as long as you're connected to your own home's wireless network. So as you can see here, we've got some speakers uh, in the ceiling in the master bedroom. Um, in all the bedrooms, actually, we've got speakers in the roof. Uh, and in all the bathrooms, you can see we've got uh, ceiling mounted speakers there, so you can listen to your music and choose the room that you want to listen to your tracks in while you're having your shower or you're just chilling out, you want to listen to some tracks, it's all sorted out, there you go. So this is the lounge, and we have recently just done the lounge, and I have overhauled it with loads of technology, which means we need a good network in here. So again, there's another switch. Um, next to that is a Sonus component. I believe that drives these speakers in the master bedroom. Uh, and that's another 5-port switch, by the way. And there is our amp. Now, on the other side, we have the TV, obviously, and a skybox. Now, the reason I link the skyboxes up to the network is so that I can control them uh, on my phone. Um, and the reason I also link the amp up is so I can do things like this. What I can do is I can go on my phone, connect to the wireless network, press on AirPlay, and then press on Lounge. And then what I can do is I can actually stream the music from my phone to the lounge speakers uh, and fully control the volume. Story. 
Hello guys, that was my home network guys. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about how I set things up or you just have any general queries, then please drop them down in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter at Marsbar Gaming guys and I'll be sure to help you guys out and try and reply to you guys. But if you did enjoy the video, then a like rating is always appreciated guys and use the dislike button accordingly if you didn't like the video guys. Share it on your social networks if you really enjoyed it guys. My name has been Alex. You guys have been awesome. I will see you in my next video. Adios.